Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another Doctor Who video. So, today we're going to be discussing the giggle, and more specifically, what's going to happen to the 14th Doctor. There's rumours, speculation and theories flying around the internet, but how is David Tennant going to depart Doctor Who again? I mean, he already left way back in 2010's The End of Time, but his time is ending again. Or is it? Undoubtedly, this probably isn't the last time David Tennant's ever going to appear in Doctor Who, because at this point, every decade or so, you just reel him back in for an anniversary, and he'll probably keep doing that until he looks like this. But what's actually going to happen at the end of the giggle? How is the 14th Doctor going to turn into the 15th Doctor? Well, I asked you guys your theories over on my Instagram page, and in this video we're going to go through them, break them down a bit, I'm going to discuss my thoughts, add in my own little commentary and theories, and I'll stop waffling, let's get into the first theory. Okay, so, Donna does it. Maybe she shoots him under control of the giggle. Now, that has some real, like, proper dramatic weight, dramatic tension. I mean, it would kind of make sense, because Special 1 and Special 2 have kind of been setting up that Donna's going to die. We even see in the trailer, which is a part of Episode 3, the Doctor saying to Donna, I don't know if I can save your life this time. And I'm gonna guess, because it's Russell T Davies, it's not gonna be as obvious as we'd imagine. Maybe it is Donna who kills him. Maybe this is a complete subversion of everything that everyone's expecting, and rather than it being Donna who dies, Donna is the one to kill the Doctor. That would certainly make their friendship awkward. Obviously, I think the Doctor would forgive her because she'd be under the control of the giggle, but that could create some very, very intense scenes, intense atmosphere, and I'm all on board for that. Nice idea. Next one. I think it'll all come down to four words. I'm ready to go. Once he admits it, he can regenerate. Yeah, that's obviously a fantastic callback to the end of time, where Tennant is famous for the I don't want to go line, which has proven to be a somewhat controversial line. I mean, I say controversial by people like myself. I, I, I love the end of time, and it is really, really sad, but I do think the spirit of Doctor Who and the spirit of a regeneration should be much more like the 13th Doctor's one, where the Doctor embraces it and goes, yes, let's live, let's have more time, let's enjoy life, like Matt Smith as well, how he accepts his regeneration. So it would be absolutely brilliant for Russell to write, like he did with Christopher Eccleston's, a regeneration where the Doctor accepts it, particularly the tenant face of the Doctor, having him finally go, I'm ready to go. Maybe the line itself is a little too on the nose. I mean, I wouldn't mind a little gag similar to it before the regeneration. I don't know about having it as his final line. Maybe it's a little too fan y but lovely idea. I hope something like that gets referenced. Coffee. Yes, I agree. Coffee will destroy the 14th Doctor. It, why would it be anything else? It, it, it's obviously coffee. I mean, Donna's destroyed the TARDIS via coffee. She's going to kill the 14th Doctor. I did it again. Throws her coffee over him. Boom, he's in flames. Solid theory. I think 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's what happens. It's the coffee. Um, JPEG's graphics suggests that his arms got too long. I mean, yeah, for anyone that's watched the latest special Wild Blue Yonder, that that that, that is a real possibility. What if? Big plot twist. These are still the other versions of the Doctor and Donna. I mean, they're probably not, but it'd be fun. It'd be very funny if he just Mr. Tickled his way to death. He gives his life for Donna and or the 15th Doctor. Gotta be the toy maker who causes it, though. Surely. Yeah. I mean, we've seen in the trailer, in all the marketing, I say yeah. I mean, if you look at the end of time, the whole four knocks, everything was set up for the master to be the one that kills the Doctor, and he didn't. Russell very, very cleverly, almost geniusly, you could say, subverted that expectation and had Wilf be the one knocking four times. So maybe it is Donna. I, I, I'm liking these ideas. I'm liking the idea that it's not just the toy maker. It probably is. We've seen in the trailer him snipping the puppet and that cuts to the regeneration. A very cool little edit there, but I don't know. Now, this is a very valid point. In the trailer, the toy maker is seen operating a large unit gun. Um, they had like, I think, is it a galvanic beam 
I, I could be mixing it. That sounds like something from The Curse of the Fatal Death, but I'm sure I've heard it called that somewhere. Whether it was the Who Spy account or something, I think, yeah, this big thing... I mean, it makes sense. We've seen in the trailer the 14th Doctor running, going, your fight is with me! And this beam being aimed at him by the Toymaker, who's to say he doesn't regenerate there and then into Shooty Gatwa? That would be kind of cool. Uh, next suggestion, your mum. Yes, I believe everybody's mothers will descend and destroy the 14th Doctor. Blow him up. The Toymaker rewriting events since Power of the Doctor, making the Doctor glitch between regenerations. Yeah, I definitely think there's the potential for some, especially if you've read the leaks, some uh, glitchy, weird stuff happening with this regeneration that isn't a typical Doctor Who regeneration, which I think could be, yeah, could be interesting. And I, yeah, there is a strong possibility the Toymaker's involved. I love the idea of him rewriting events, because it would also explain away why the 14th Doctor's clothes regenerated as well, because that's never really happened before. I mean, it happened with the first Doctor, but that didn't really count. I, when I say that, I, I don't mean the first Doctor didn't count. I just mean at the time they hadn't really ironed out regeneration yet, so it was allowed to get past. But yeah, it would iron that out. This next response is technically right. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with you. It will be Russell T Davies who causes the regeneration because he's the man who wrote it. So, yeah. I mean, I kind of like the idea that Russell will just show up in the flesh and, like, clobber him to death. That would be quite funny. Uh, Jeevan here suggests that he trips over a brick. Yeah, um, I think Tennant said ages ago, I think it might have been the end of time or something, that, oh, imagine how anticlimactic it would be if I just tripped over a brick and that causes, causes me to regenerate, and he, he, he wasn't wrong, but it would be really lovely to see. No, it wouldn't. It would be awful. Please don't trip over a brick tenant. No, don't, don't do it, Russell. Don't do it. We've got quite a simple one here. Um, shot, maybe. Yeah. Maybe like the seventh Doctor, he just, I don't know, goes on holiday to America, then bang, 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 bang. Shout out to the TV movie. What a way to go. Poor, poor Doctor. Now, simply defeating the Toymaker. He loses his power over the Doctor, thus killing him. That would make sense. If the Toymaker is this sort of all-powerful thing who's controlling the regeneration, he's the reason the 14th Doctor's got those clothes, got that face back. If the Toymaker loses his power, the Doctor has to die as well. That would be quite a nice little moral thing of... Does Donna allow that to happen? Does the Doctor allow that to happen? I like that theory. <laughs> Sylvia roundhouses him again. Yeah, just, yeah, that would be, it would, it would be hilarious if everyone's got all these theories and then it is another member of the noble family, but rather than it being a big dramatic sacrifice like Wilf, she just goes bang himself. He chooses to. This is a really nice idea, to be fair, and it works for the characterization stuff I was talking about earlier in the video. If he acknowledges he needs to move on, he's got this old face back, but he can't live in the past forever, he needs to move on and get a new face, that would be really, really cool. Because also on a, like a, a subtextual level for the audience, it's saying, David Tennant's great, we love him, but we can't just rely on him to keep this franchise afloat. We have to embrace the new, which is obviously the wonderful Shooty Gatwa. Now, another suggestion here is that the Celestial Toymaker will be the cause, and all will be revealed why this face is back. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it ties into everything we've been saying. The toy maker's going to have some sort of grand plan. I hope that the clothes thing is explained. I know Russell's talked about it in interviews, saying it was to stop the press from sort of making a mockery of drag and David Tennant, but there could be a in-narrative explanation as well. Um, William Bryce suggests me. It's him. William is the destroyer of the 14th Doctor. An even better suggestion here. Benny is back and hungry for the Doctor's blood. Have you seen my Benny? <laughs> and our final suggestion of this video. I think this is the best theory so far. Echo from Echo's End says it's ending time and ends the Doctor. Yeah. Well, I mean... It's, it's canon. That That's actually the plot of Echo's Destiny, our, our third feature fan film, which uh, you can find in the description. You can't, it's not out yet, but go and check out the other Echo films. The Echo Doctor, you heard it here first. She kills the 14th 
Doctor. Speaking of endings, uh, that's a good place to end this video. <laughs> Let me know your theories and thoughts in the comments down below. Have you got a better theory on how and why the 14th Doctor will regenerate? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please do remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of this Doctor who stuff, especially moving into the new era. Thank you for watching and goodbye.